Yeah, we have a we have a very young team, a lot of new faces for the Portland Thorns fans. And I thought we played a better game than the opposition today. So I'm frustrated with the tie, um, which is pretty, pretty exciting for this group. Um, I don't want to be happy about a tie right now. I'm, I'm, it's hurting a little bit, but uh, for the group we have on the field, for being away from home to our biggest rivals um, and knowing that we should have, it's three points lost, right? Um, so that's, that's a pretty great frustration right now. Thank you. We'll get started with questions and we'll begin with Brian Clark. Hi, Ryan. Uh, that last stretch where the rain uh, were able to get the tying goal, what did you see in those moments that uh, the team can improve on going forward as far as that stretch? Yeah, they they changed their formation, 4-2-3-1. They really they came out um, and just went for it, which, you know, after the week they've had with COVID and um, a lot going on for them, impressive to see their character. For us, I think that's where you see a lot of youth or a lot of um, – new faces they let the energy of the crowd and of the opposition sort of get a hold of them and so we ended up coughing up the ball too easily not keeping it which is what we've been doing all game but um that stress got to them so definitely a, a big piece that we need to take away from the game and uh they, they know it and this is one of uh, the biggest rivalries in nwsl obviously um and laura harvey actually in her post game comments mentioned uh, that the fact this game was not on national television was mind blowing to her. Uh, do you agree with that sentiment? And, and what could you say ab about that generally? I'd say Laura Harvey is one of the, um, the coaches that's been around the longest. She knows the game and she knows this league and she's done a lot to promote it and to, and to make sure it keeps pushing its standards. Um, she doesn't mince her words. Um, you know, at this point in my career, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really, I think uh, going up against Laura and, and feeling like we should have won is, is a fantastic moment and uh, frustration with the team that we let that go and, and them with themselves, whether it's on national television or not, is secondary to us not having the win. Thank you. We'll go next to Jackie. Hi, Rand. Jackie here with Bowling Kickballs. Um, Kling was just in here earlier sharing just nothing but great things about your leadership with this team. And despite the draw, just what are some of your takeaways of just any ways that you're pleased with your players' performances? Well, I thought Kling had a fantastic performance, a real captain's performance with there not being that many veterans on the field. Um, really, really impressed with what she did today and a lot of other players. But um, our team never stops trying to live the Thorns identity on the field. And I really love that. I think it's really easy when you've got new faces, new people that you resort to the most basic type of soccer, which is launch the ball and use our athleticism. Definitely, there's a time to go direct. There's a time to live on the ball and play. And under pressure, we saw players really rise to the occasion and, and, um, and play a really cool kind of soccer that I'm really proud of. And I, I love seeing that uh, against adversity, them continuing to try and play the game the way I like seeing it. Yeah, for sure. And then just kind of a follow up to that as well, like with the rivalry, I mean, how would you just describe like how that, um, you know, just kind of like Cascadia atmosphere energized your team and really wanting to get that win while on the road? Rivalry is fantastic for this league. I think we're starting to see one in LA, San Diego. There's a, a few out east. It's just really great for the league, the energy from the fans. Um, the players that have been around, like that's sort of like it's been building in them. It, it's I'm new to this, so it, I'm very quickly being absorbed into it. It's a lot of fun. The games we've played the rain a lot since the beginning of the year, and every single game is a real battle, and that's what we want to see. This is what the game's about. You battle for the points, and um, the league is really showing how close everyone is at this point. For sure. Well, thanks so much for your time and safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go next to Ryan. Or back to Ryan. Hey again, Ryan. Um, just wanted to ask you on Yasmin Ryan's status. Uh, she came out of the game uh, late. Uh, do, do you guys know much there? Yeah, she's okay. She was cramping. Yaz has been injured. A few of our players are coming back from injury. And so um, sort of getting back into the fitness minutes is always going to be a bit of a, a bit dicey as in when do you take them off before they're cramping and uh, when, how much are you pushing them in their fitness? So she's, she's great. She's fine. She's frustrated that she was cramping, but uh, new turf different field um, and back back playing in that kind of intensity. I'm not surprised she cramped a bit. All right, thank you, Ryan. We'll wrap it there. Safe travels home. Thank you all, thanks for the support.